about the time When we was making good love It was your body on mine And I love it Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Celia and today I'll be showing you how I color my hair and how I mold and style my hair whenever I don't want to curl it and do all that jazz and stuff. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first, um, I sometimes use a semi-permanent color. So after I relax my hair, I use a semi-permanent color. But to be honest, I, it's not my favorite. I don't really like it. I prefer to use a permanent color on my hair because like you know when i use a semi permanent color and i get caught in the rain my hair start drip and then it start running on my clothes i ever lay on a pillow or anything white it just start just go on it and stuff so i really don't really like um semi permanent to use semi permanent color the only time i use it to be honest is when my hair really wants to get color and my hair is in need of a relaxer then I have no choice than to use it because I can't use a permanent color and relax my hair at the same time, right? So I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, um, you shouldn't use a permanent permanent color on your relaxed hair. I mean, everybody here is different and think about it, I'm always cutting my hair so I always have new growth. So my hair, even if it's damaged, cut it again, gone, new growth, healthy again. So yeah. Um, it's my preference and yeah so usually whenever I use a permanent color on my hair um, it tends to get dry so I saw this tip on Pinterest where you can use coconut oil in your hair all before you actually color your hair so I tried that I don't really know if it worked because I went in with deep um, a mask and some deep conditioner and stuff so I really don't know if that helped my hair from not feeling dry because my hair doesn't feel dry afterwards feel really moist and moisturized and soft and whatnot so I can't really tell it because I, w I went in with three different products after after I color my hair so, so let me just tell you so I use the Weller this I got this from Sally's and the Weller permanent color in black I really love my hair jet black like really really black so I normally use a double pigmented black or a blue black so yeah I got this from Sally I use a 1220 volume developer and I mix these two together then I apply it to my hair I sit for 20 30 minutes until it's color then i use a shea moisture anti-break heat strengthening mask and i leave this in my hair overnight and then in the morning i wash my hair and then in the when I, while i'm washing my hair i use the carrot cholesterol and the air mayonnaise mix these together and you know comb it through and then wash my hair these are two of my old favorite i used to use this back in the days and i decided to get it back recently and i've been loving it so yeah um then i do the jazz you know style my hair and go on and enjoy it whatnot so yeah it's pretty simple um i know people is gonna as i said before i know people is gonna say oh you're not supposed to well why are you using or you know i know as i said before i know people is gonna say something about using permanent color my relaxed hair but i know if you do it two weeks before your relaxer or two weeks after your relaxer then it's okay I mean I'm not gonna say you won't get damaged or you can't get damaged but I mean it's okay it's, as long as you're not doing them at the same time and as I said my hair is short so okay guys don't mind how I look like a crazy person right now I'm just gonna show you how I color my hair okay guys I'm just putting the dye in the bowl and then I'm gonna put the 20 volume developer with that. Um, I have been doing this for so long, so I know exactly what consistency I want. I just eyeball the amount of developer I wanna put in, but if you're a beginner, please read the instruction and follow the instruction. So yeah, so I'm just gonna apply the dye to my hair in no particular way, just you know, ensuring all my hair strands have been coated with the dye. And yeah. Okay, so I'm using a wax to comb just to ensure that um, the product is distributed evenly throughout my hair. Then I'm gonna sit around for 30 minutes until it's processed. Then I wash it out. After that, I'm gonna use a deep um, anti breakage mask and I'm gonna put that all through my hair and then I'll 
go to my bed with it in my hair so for overnight and yeah so the morning I wake up or the next evening I'm combing through <laughs> my hair then I'm going with a leave-in conditioner so because I'm not gonna curl my hair after I finish molded and stuff I'm gonna try out this new foaming lotion or mousse um, I've never used it before so I'm gonna see how it works because sometimes you know narrow be a bit expensive and whatever I'm not curling my hair I don't want to use it so let me see Okay, now I reach to my waves. So to be honest guys, this is so hard to explain. But um, the tips I can tell you is using my middle finger and using my rat tail comb and I just try to form some C and S shapes. And yeah, and another tip I can give you is use a lot of the foaming lotion. It will help you to, you know, move your hair exactly how you want it. And um, also, practice i've been practicing on doing this and i still make mistakes and i still have to start over you guys can see i'm gonna start over anytime soon so yeah i just do it until i get it right and yeah don't be discouraged to try if you don't get it right start over do it again until you get it because i never get it for the first time i couldn't even understand how people get do it do it the first time i tried so just practice this is so hard for me to explain very hard so hope you guys are visual learners <laughs> all right my baby don't mess around because she loves me so and this i know for sure See me walk out the door. Oh, oh, oh. Don't try to fight the feeling. Cause I thought alone is killing me right now. Yeah. Thank God for mom and dad for sticking two together. Cause we don't know how.
was a mixture of the hair mayonnaise and the carrot castor castor roll castor roll. Oh, cholesterol, cholesterol. You enjoy, oh god, this is itching me. Anyway.